All right, everybody. Fan is off, so we should be a little more crisp to hear. Uh, we're in front of... You know, I would love to be able to hit these guys, but I just fucking can't today. Okay, you know what? I'm done. I'm done with you. I'm done with you. We're outside of these guys. Every day or so, they kind of re-up on their ancient springs and stuff, which is kind of weird, but... Uh, would love to be able to search that. Alright, is this bat really like... Is he really... Are you really trying to catch this axe right now? How'd that go for you? Not great, I know. Alright. So we made it. All these things respawn, huh? Still have yet to see a rupee. And you won't till you cross off this island, dog. Goddess is shimmering. She might as well go talk to her. You who have conquered the shrines and claimed their spirit orbs, I can offer you great power. It appears you have claimed four spirit orbs. In exchange for four spirit orbs, I will amplify your being. So tell me, what is it that you desire? Stamina, please. Yes, please. I shall grant you the power you seek. Oh, I love how that looks. Honestly, incredible. It's like a giant uh, Kokiri's emerald, but like, oh, it's so good. Stamina Vessel. The size of your stamina wheel has been increased, allowing you to perform more actions before getting tired. <laughs> it's so pathetic, but it's so helpful. Go and bring peace to Hyrule. Oh shit, Grandpa wanted those. Look at that evil face. The blessings of the goddess has made you that much more resilient, I see. Here I am. Get up here, quickly. How the hell did we get up there? I think we had to go outside. Right? Maybe. I don't know. But yeah, as you can see, we get a little extra stamina. It's really not that much. You know what really you know what really make this game just garbage? <laughs> if swinging a weapon took stamina. I mean, like it, it it does when you do like the charge attack, but I'm not talking about I'm talking like if it like just a regular swing, oh, I would not play this game. All right, well, of course we're blocked by this guy. Uh, since we're... Can you get off, Spider-Man, please? Thank you. I might as well get on this guy. I'm just... I think if we make it to, like, an outcrop like this, we should be good to... get our stamina back. Well, that's, that's not how you get your stamina back. <laughs> oh my god. I think we'll be okay. To, like, not die. I can actually jump to the side. <sighs> wow, that was so close. Like I was saying, you can, you can jump to the side. <laughs> side and up, you just can't really jump down. When you jump down, that's when you die. Okay, we should be able to stand on this. This game is garbage. Dude, how am I... We are dying all over the place. It's like, you know, it makes me think, like, you know, I should get that heart, but honestly, guys, stamina is way more important than your hearts. I mean, like, when it comes to hearts, honestly, what you need is armor. That's literally what it comes down to. Cause it doesn't really matter where you're. Man, I got my stamina wheel. <laughs> That's all I care about. If I got my stamina wheel or not. Stamina wheel or not. All right, I guess we're climbing up the slow way, boys. It is what it is. No, I'm not, I'm not doing that. I can't do that. This I might have to climb slow though. You know what I should have done? I'm really stupid, but it's okay. It's okay. Live and learn. 
just hanging on the edge of tomorrow. Never know. Oh, no, something of yesterday. Are you kidding me? I gotta go up and over. I had to go up and over. I know goddamn well I'm not climbing that. Jesus, alright. You know, fucking... Is there any way I can get this to just be full screen all the time? Where is this guy? Oh, there he is. I'm like, where's, where's Grandpa? I'm like, I know he's up here. Maybe we can go into it now. There it is. Oh, treasure chest. No, Grandpa! <laughs> Not another war story, please. Get ready for the greatest name. King of Rome, Bosporamus Hyrule. <laughs> I was the last leader of Hyrule. A kingdom which no longer exists. <laughs> King Rome. The great calamity was merciless. It devastated everything in its path. Lo, a century ago, it was then that my life was taken away from me. And since that time, here I have remained in spirit form. I did not think it wise to overwhelm you while your memory was still fragile. So rather than that, I thought it best to assume a temporary form. Forgive me. I think you are now ready. Ready. Cool. To know the Calamity Ganon's true form, one must know the story from an age long past. The Demon King was born into this kingdom, but his transformation into malice created the horror you see now. Stories of Ganon were passed from generation to generation, in the form of legends and fairy tales. But there was also prophecy. The signs of a resurrection of Calamity Ganon are clear, and the power to oppose it lies dormant. We decided to heed the prophecy and began excavating large areas of land. It wasn't long before we discovered several ancient relics made by the hands of our distant ancestors. These relics, the divine beasts, were giant machines piloted by warriors. We also found the Guardians, an army of mechanical soldiers who fought autonomously. This coincided with ancient legends oft repeated throughout our land. We also learned of a princess with a sacred power and her appointed knight chosen by the sword that seals the darkness. It was they who sealed Ganon away using the power of these ancient relics. One hundred years ago, there was a princess set to inherit a sacred power and a skilled knight at her side. It was clear that we must follow our ancestors' path. We selected four skilled individuals from across Hyrule and tasked them with the duty of piloting the divine beasts. With the princess as their commander, we dubbed these pilots champions, a name that would solidify their unique bond. The princess, her appointed knight, and the rest of the champions were on the brink of sealing away Ganon. But nay. Ganon was cunning, and he responded with a plan beyond our imagining. from deep below Hyrule Castle, seized control of the Guardians and the Divine Beasts, and turned them against us. The champions lost their lives, those residing in the castle as well. The 
Shards of Night, the Grave Legal, the last of the Fifth Princess. And thus, the Kingdom of Hyrule was devastated absolutely by Calamity Ganon. However, the princess survived to face Ganon alone. Link, you are our final hope. The fate of Hyrule rests with you. Some backstory, huh? That princess was my own daughter, my dear Zelda. And the courageous knight who protected her right up to the very end. That knight was none other than you, Link. You fought valiantly when your fate took an unfortunate turn. And then you were taken to the Shrine of Resurrection. Here you now stand, revitalized 100 years later. The words of guidance you have been hearing since your awakening are from Princess Zelda herself. Even now, as she works to restrain Ganon from within Hyrule Castle, she calls out for your help. However, my daughter's power will soon be exhausted. Once that happens, Ganon will freely regenerate himself. And nothing will stop him from consuming our land. Considering that I could not save my own kingdom, I have no right to ask this of you, Link. But I am powerless here. You must save her, my daughter, and do whatever it takes to annihilate Ganon. Somehow. Ganon has maintained control over all four divine beasts, as well as those guardians swarming around Hyrule Castle. I believe it would be quite reckless for you to head directly to the castle at this point. I suggest that you make your way east out to one of the villages in the wilderness. Follow the road out to Kakariko Village. <laughs> Cock. There you will find the elder. He said it! She will tell you more about the path that lies ahead. Consult the map on your Sheikah slate for the precise location of Kakariko Village. Make your way past the twin summits of the dueling peaks. From there, follow the road as it proceeds north. Go on. Here is the paraglider, just as I promised. Yes, an item. Use it with X or something. Yeah, and you can fly through... Well, I say fly. You can sail through the air. The isolated plateau. Complete main quest line. Yes, let's go, baby. With that, you should be able to safely fly off the cliff surrounding this area. And I think that's it. I've told you everything I can. Link, you must save Hyrule. Thanks for the chest, Gramps. Soldier's bow, let's go. Oh, but your inventory's full. Can't stand that, dude. It's just, like, so annoying. It's like, how many Boko bows do we need? Drop. Seek out Impa is a new quest. Or stop Ganon is a new quest. Uh, jump. Oh, feels so good. Oh, now this is Breath of the Wild, baby. Oh, just being able to paraglide over everything and just, like, see everything. Honestly, this is probably, like, one of my favorite parts of the game is the paraglider. <gasps> ah! Just kidding. Come on. Uh, I actually should have just done this. <laughs> Honestly, I should have just done that from the beginning. But I didn't. Uh, it's, it's okay. Uh, but, uh, but you need another loading screen. It's fine. It's fine. It's cool. It's great. 10 out of 10 game. Mimo Rune. Use an amiibo to summon forth an item that may be useful to you in your adventure. Press R to switch to the hover nozzle. Alright, yeah, we're up here. That didn't take too long. But, uh... 
I'm gonna take. Oh my god, I almost walked off. I'm gonna take the time to look and see if we can find any more. Oh, son of a bitch. Any more shrines or anything? I mean, there's that tower over there. It almost looks like a shrine. That's all the stuff where we just were. There's the tower. Nope. Okay. Catch you later. I should have saved my stamina. Oh, hold on. You know, I really need to wait, or I really have to kill all of them. Alright, well I guess we're gonna do that then. Traveler sword doesn't matter. You really want some, dude? Damn, catch you later, my friend. So yeah, whenever you see a purple chest like that, you have to defeat all the enemies around in the surrounding area. Kind of, well, it's it's not bad, but it, it can definitely be like, oh, come on. Especially if they're like really jokey enemies like that. I'll take that, we kind of needed it. Or at least it was like a replacement. Pick that up too. Um, hmm. I saw this woodcutter's axe. We should probably get rid of that. Oh, I didn't make you break those, too. Well, let's destroy some stuff. Get some apples and some acorns. Apples and some eggs. The apple corn. Here we go. Well, let's do it. Oh my god, they're already throwing a fucking moblin at us? Get out of here. That son of a bitch will wreck you. There's a choo-choo. Choo-choo! Hyrule Kingdom, baby. The outpost ruins. I just hear something? Oh, I guess not. Alright, climb, climb, climb. Oh, there might be something in here that I want. Spider-Man, calm down, please. Another guardian, that'll probably kill me in one hit. Oh, Rusty Halberd. But your inventory's too full. I could probably drop that torch. I really don't need it now. Now, uh, there is something around here that I want. Oh, this looks promising. Rusty-ass claymore that we can't really pick up. Rusty weapons kind of break easy, but... I think I'd rather have a rusty claymore than a rusty halberd. Alright, where's this item, dude? I know it's like... Stop, just stop climbing, Link. Just stop climbing. Is it in here? Huh. I could have sworn it was in here. I guess it's just further ahead. Who knew, bro? Alright, let's climb. Let's get on out of here. This is our first... Oh, wow, there's the chest. It's our first real step in a high roll. So it feels kind of good, man. Don't really need that. Uh, are these guys going to come to life? Doesn't look like it. Which is kind of good. Got an ancient screw. And an opal. Interesting. Alright, while there's no enemies in the... Well, you know what? Let me climb up here and then I'll do it. Well, there's no enemies in the near vicinity. Let me show you guys the amiibo room. I'm using an amiibo on the NFC touch point. Which uh, is, I guess, what it's called. But I have a lot of amiibos. I'll tell you which ones I have here with me right now, and I'll tell you which ones I'm using. That was my... Okay, well, I'm not telling you what that was again. All right. 
So for my amiibos, let's see what we got. We have Princess Peach. Should go without saying. That was a little slip up, but we should be good for now. I think. I hope. I pray. Uh, yeah. Okay. So for the amiibos that I have, coming back to that, we have Princess Peach. Should go without saying. I have Kirby. I have Marth. I have most of them are from Smash, but it doesn't really matter. I have Zelda. From Smash, Zelda. I have Pac-Man. I have a Bowser. I have Shulk. I have Smash Link. And I also have Princess Zelda from Breath of the Wild. Now, let's use the non-Zelda character ones first. I'm going to start off with Shulk. My man. What's he dropping for us? Got some raw meat. There's a Sun Shroom. I'm actually going to do something real quick because it's going to save me a lot of time. Oh, wait. I don't have that. I don't have that ability yet, but that's okay. All right. So I used Shulk. Shulk's done. Uh, let's use Big Bowser. Give me an Iron Shroom. A lot of mushrooms. Interesting. Maybe because it's a whole Mario thing. Let's use Pac-Man. Acorns, raw meat. Not bad. Let's use Marth. Got some warm Cephalina. Just, just cooking ingredients, pretty much. Let's use Kirby. Got some acorn. Hyrule herb. Pretty cool. Uh, what else can we use? Princess Peach. Oh, we got a Zap Shroom. Now, there's a reason that I use the non- Legend of Zelda amiibos first. Um, that's because... Well, let's just use Zelda. Show what happens. You get a bunch of stuff. Hyrule Herbs. Some Armoranth. Got a Swift Carrot. Got a Swift Violet. And we also got a chest. What's in this chest? An Opal. Probably one of the worst things you can get, but that's fine. Let's use uh, Breath of the Wild Zelda. Oh, that Swift Carrot flew, bro. We got a Mighty Thistle. Oh, another Mighty... Oh, well, I guess we're opening it like this. That's fine. Wow, another Opal! What are the chances of that garbage? Alright, now let's use Link. I'm praying for something. I'm praying... Yes, boys! Who's this? None other than our trusty steed, bro. Opona. Horses are very different in this game. But there's one thing I like about them that I'm actually going to have you listen to. While we're riding, take a listen to the music. Huh. Huh. Alright, actually, hold on, because it's, it's not doing it. Oh, now it is! How did it just stop? That's so weird. Let's get it again. Yeah. Alright, sorry to like blast your ears, but I was trying to get the, the horse music to play, because riding the horse music is some of my favorite music in the game. Uh, I would love a full screen on this. <laughs> Uh, what's going on, Abdul? Can you give me a quick number crunch real quick? Uh, yeah, just give me a second. I'm coming up to, uh, 43.33, uh, repeating, of course, percentage of survival. Alright, alright, easy. Good girl. I love- alright, please move! Uh, Dueling Peaks, North, Hateno Village, and Lake Hylia to the right. Well, they said- no, 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 don't start with me. All right, good. Here we go. Now we're galloping. Let's go. We're at the East Post ruins. I'm running right past this fool. I got no time for him. Well, there is a shrine, though. We'll definitely get in there quick. I mean, shrines are kind of very important, obviously, since you need four of them to get either a new heart or more stamina. We're going to have to do a lot of them, guys. We're going to have to do a L-O-T. All right, why did I not skip that? I'll never know. Right, I hope opponent doesn't go anywhere. 
I really want to find the stable. There are stables in this game. There are also wild horses in this game. Uh, it was, it's pure, it's like random chance. Actually, I think it's the first time in the save file, if you use a Link Amiibo, um, that you will get a Pona. And any time after that is generally like a chest. But I don't know, man. This was kind of crazy. Uh, do you set foot in the shrine? I am Bosch Kala. In the name of the goddess Hylia, I offer this trial. Wow, great. Nice. Very tough. There's a weapon you can't use. Do -do 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 -do. I know. It's like a million and a half ambers. Alright, so what is this? Let me fly across this. We can't go the other way. Because it's blocked. Alright, we can go down this way. Or we can come down here. What's down here? There's another chest. Which I'm going to assume we're going to want. We come up this way. I don't run out of energy, though. Alright, that's just a return. So that's not what we need. Yeah, I think what we have to do is this. I think we have to go across here. And then we're going to... Oh, barely made it, though. But we got it. That's what I'm talking Wow. Holy Soldier's Claymore. That is worth dropping almost anything we have for that. Let's actually get rid of... Let's get rid of this axe. I'd rather, I'd rather have that Claymore, dude. That thing is powerful. 20. Let's actually not have that out right now. Let's put on the Traveler's Sword. But that's how you get those chests. That's not too bad. What time? I should have looked at what time I was at, honestly. 30 minutes. Hmm. That was a bomber, if anybody, uh, well, bombers from Majora's Mask, if anybody was wondering. So there we go. We got this one shrine down. Start collecting for more stamina. Or a heart. I might honestly alternate. I might go, since I got stamina, I might go heart next time, because I'm going to need more hearts. Uh, you need 13 for something. And that's all I'm saying. So we're going to need 13. We're going to need 10 more. Which is 40 shrines. Absolutely wild. And that's 40 shrines of no stamina. Did I count that right? Yeah, yeah I think so. Of not getting stamina. So we're going to need even more than that. Uh, please tell me... Oh, yes, baby girl. Yes. Oh, oh no. Baby, no. Baby, no. All right, we're out of here, honey. Let's go over this bridge. Can I pull a turn, please? Never had more trouble turning a freaking horse in this game. Here we go. Holy, who are you? The end is here. Brigo. I may be somewhat useful to... I may be somewhat used to seeing bad omens by now, but that, well, let's just say it's better than most. We're doomed. I mean, don't panic. Sorry, who are you? Have we met? Well, it doesn't matter who you are, really. I was just getting tired of talking to myself. So you've come at a good time. Uh, by the by, those strange things that have popped out of the ground, did you see them? I'm not talking about the mushrooms here. I'm talking about those towers. They seem to have popped up all over the place. And that's not the only strange thing that's happened. Those long, deserted shrines suddenly started glowing. You know what this means, don't you? The end is here. With all this craziness happening, I've been keeping an eye on that thing. Just to see if it suddenly starts moving, you know? Yeah, good idea. Yeah, that Guardian is worth, is worth watching. It's just there like the ones from the old stories. Mm. Did you know that some of them can move? Uh, one of them once chased me down and tried to kill me. This one here? No, it was a different one. But that one was closer to the castle, before the forest. Uh, when they spot you, they shoot blue beams of light at you. Man, I was so sure that was the end for me. I was prepared for the worst. But I somehow managed to escape into nearby woods. You think it was my lightning-fast reflexes that saved me? Ha! I wish. Truth is, I just got lucky. Anyway, I hear guardians like that still wander around the castle. Be careful. Well, you don't have a shield, so you can't parry. I love Opona, guys. I love Opona. Uh, so we're pretty much coming this way. Tower's almost over there. Oh, is it my is it my horse music? 
It's the horse music at night. It's still good. Well, you like really can't turn after like. Alright, opponent. That was not the time for you to stop. <laughs> that was so guttural. It was like. Bleh, 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 bleh. That was really weird. Alright, hold on. Sorry, honey. I didn't mean to stop short like that. But we gotta read these signs. God, the horse walk is so slow. No! Alright, good. Proxim Bridge, Dueling Peak, Stable. 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 No, Stable, no. Let me move! I can't move! Alright, here we go. Nice, good job, Bona. Now, I could knock out that tower right now, but I'd rather go to the stable. No, yeah, I'd rather go to the stable. Oh, girl, you're killing me. You're killing me, you're killing me, you're killing me. I'm trying to play this freaking game, and you're absolutely killing me. Kill, 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 killing me. I can't control myself. Well, there's another shrine right there. I want the stable, dude. Who is calling me? No time. We're in the wild, breathing. Let me get some Pokemon music with this. It's pretty dope. Oh, it's Mezzer. Oh, what's up? You looking for someone to talk to? Fine by me as long as we're talking meat, cause that, that's all I really have that's worth talking about. Finest meat in the land, are you up? Uh, you uh, fixing to buy some? I carry only the finest meats in my pants. You wanna buy some meat? You wanna taste my meat? We're up prime meat, birthday, you want my meat? Hey, we don't have any rupees, dude. Anything else you need? Be ashamed to let all this meat go to waste. Uh, let's, uh, I'd rather sell. Oh, what you got? Um... I mean, I got six of these that I ain't using. Here, take all of them, why not? You want to sell all of them, right? I'll buy that for 180 rupees. Thanks, you're doing me a real service here. Uh, there we go. Now we're done. I'm good, thanks. Thanks for stopping by! Oh my god, he looks straight out of Wind Waker. I think I found it. I didn't say... Oh my god. Don't you get sassy with me, girl. I hate this horse. I'm abandoning her for a new one. You know, I was so excited to get her, too. I'm like, oh, I got a pony. I can't wait. I can't wait. Did I say freak out? Because I'm pretty sure I said just go slow, sister. Because I got to cross this bridge to get to their stable. Dude, I'm dying right now. I can't control opponent. It's like, why is this? She's so hard to turn. But she shouldn't be, because she's, she's a perfectly maxed out horse, which is, you know, just crazy to me. I can give you directions. Welcome to Dueling Peak Stable. What do you think of the place? Pretty nice. Yeah, well, imagine how awesome this place was 100 years ago without all the destroying stuff. It's like, uh, even the wild horses are back. There's a lot of energy in this place. So where are you heading? Both Kakariga Village and Hateno? Goodbye. Everything looks just like it was at the Great Calamity. He's still lingering. I don't really care. I'm only going to try and read, um... Hey. Important text, guys. Hey, welcome to my stable. We deal in all things horse-related. We also double as an inn. Huh? I haven't seen your face before. Do you know about the stable system? Just for your sake, guys, I don't. Uh. Well, then allow me to explain. You can board your horse companions with us, then summon them as you please from our network of stables. You may have come across wild horses during your travels, or this precious one from an amiibo, pay to win action. Uh, if you uh, catch one and ride it here to register it, it'll become your horse companion. One person can board up to five horses, and you're able to swap horses in and out as you please. Do you know how to catch a wild horse? I know how. Oh, pardon me, let us let me start over. Wait, what? If you come with a horse, you can register it here. If you want to stay for a rest, you can do the thing. Let's register Epona right now. You sure this is the one? She's got a gentle temperament. She's got max strength, speed, stamina, and a good bond. 
Not a problem. Charge a registration fee to help support our efforts. Uh, locally made saddle and uh, brittle, bridle. For your horse, the fee is 20 rupees. Good thing we sold some stuff. Okay, please enter a name for your horse. Wait a minute. Isn't this Epona, the horse of legend? What are you thinking? You can't rename a horse of legend. Pretty sure there's a law against that. So Epona it is. Your registration is complete. Would you like to take your new... Yeah, we're, yeah, we're not boarding her. Oh, thank you. Oh, by the way. You get separated from your horse. You can whistle and have her come running. Uh, you can whistle with the down button. Pretty dope. It's kind of cool. Uh, it alerts enemies to you, too, if you want to use that to your, you know, liking. Uh, but your horse isn't magic. It can't hear you if you're too far away, so do keep that in mind. There are a bunch of other things we can do. We can talk to some people here. We really want to. Hmm. Oh, sorry. I didn't notice you. I was a bit lost in thought here. I've been doing rigorous research today for the mystery of the blood moon. The blood moon? You don't know it? That inexcusable. Listen up and I'll tell you about it. For 100 years now, every so often, the clock strikes midnight, the sky turns red, and full moon rises. At that moment, monsters that had been previously defeated will come back to life. Uh. And that is what's known as the blood moon. Or oh, did the monsters return to rife? Only the rife knows of the monster. Okay, I don't care anymore. Yeah, let's talk about a blood moon. It's very unimportant. Very unimportant. So let's go knock out this SOB. Whoa. Oh, Sagessa. Oh, a woman. Oh my god, a woman. Uh, good evening. Don't see a whole lot of travelers passing through here. You know, with how peaceful it is around here. It's uh, sometimes easy to forget that the wild almost uh, ended. Oh, the world <laughs> almost ended. Yeah, something about Hyrule Castle. It's going to be traveling now. You know about, you should know about elixirs. What? You can make elixirs by mixing bugs and other small creatures with monster parts. Most of them are no good for refilling your health, but they can have a lot of unique effects. Some elixirs can increase your speed, others raise resistance to extreme temperatures. I'm actually impressed that you made it this far without any knowledge of elixirs, but you know what? That's fine. I'll give you... Oh, oh, baby girl. Thank you for the hasty elixir. The recipe is just Hightail Lizard and Monster Parts, so I usually have a stockpile full of them. Wow, I really can't make that? Oh, I gotta... Oh, yeah, I know what I gotta do. Oh, God. It's first, you don't succeed. Uh, so yeah, we're in this new area. We're by this stable. There's a lot going on. I'm trying. I don't like. I don't want to like describe everything as it's going, but um, here we go. We got something here. Double opal, pretty dope. Ha, huh, dopal. Am I right? There's a rupee or a frog. Here we go. We made it in. Let's skip this nonsense. There was also that one, um. One shrine that was uh, by the tower, which we're going to hit before we end this episode. But I want to do these uh, these shrines first. Like I said, these episodes are going to be longer, so... If you're not looking forward to that, I do apologize. I mean, just watch if like what you want. You can skip ahead. I mean, the water guides. Uh, we definitely need that, then. Oh, did I not press that? Because I thought I did. Another cool thing you can do with this. Alright, so we are going to need to... There's a chest up there. How could I forget? Isn't this romantic? Shit, shit, shit. Alright, cool. Hold on. Alright, let us destroy... That one will do this, so we can latch on. Oh no! Alright, well, good thing we don't die. Do we? No, okay. Let's put it down a little bit more. There we go. Uh, please open the chest. Reverse, but that's okay. Purple Rupee. 50 Dolores. Beautiful. Alright, now... Looks like we have to do some stuff. I, can, I think I can already tell what we're going to have to do. 
do that. We're gonna have to do this. Shit. Um, that might actually be okay. Let's try that. All right. Well, it's gonna restart. So. Ha ha! Let's go! Let's go! Oh my God! That was flawless, almost. We had that one little hiccup. And now we're good to go. And that was it for the shrine. Dunzo completed. See you later. See, like, some of them aren't hard, but, guys, there'll be some of them where I'm going to be, like, pulling my hair out, like, forgetting how to do it. Uh, and there's a couple ones that you can cheese, too, actually. Which is kind of cool, but it's also kind of like, I don't know. It's a little lame. <laughs> but it's kind of helpful, because doing them the normal way is kind of a pain in the ass. Uh... Quagmire that will draw you in. Sink in too deeply and you'll be unable to escape. Black swirling energy. <laughs> oh my god. I was watching Ghost Adventures and they like they interviewed this one guy who's like he uh he opted to not show his face and we altered his voice. But um uh, he was just he was talking about like his his experience and I actually read an article recently. I used to love Ghost Adventures like as a kid, but um one of them actually came out and said that it was most of it was faked. So I'm like, wow, that kind of that's kind of lame. But um, because I mean, I do believe in the paranormal. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, there's definitely there's definitely something out there, other entities. Maybe not all the time, but but anyway, oh, no opponent, no. Oh no. Oh fucking no. I'm gonna say, baby, just. Just let me let me steer you, please, and we will we will win. I promise. Well, that was kind of interesting, but uh, this is one guy who was just like, I saw this black twirling, twisting energy. And it was just the way he said it, it was so stupidly funny. We go get that rock salt. Not be eaten in this form, but you better believe. Oh, well, <laughs> we might, we might need a little more stamina. Here we go, jump, 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 we made it. Ah, uh, the re de <laughs> re de -he shrine. That's kind of funny. I think there's one also, if, like, if you climb up a little bit more, but, um, I don't know. It's a lot of crazy stuff. We're going to get something, oh, skip, come on, baby. We're going to get something kind of soon that's going to help us uh, with locating shrines, which is, oh my god, so helpful. It's absolutely amazing. Calming your horse. When a wild horse is riding, starts to act out or ignore you, kill it and move on to the next wild horse. Actually, actually, don't, don't do that. Uh, timing is critical. Oh, I got it. Please? Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Do -do 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 -do. Oh, we're not going to need that. We're going to need stasis, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> so we have to do this. That was a little late. Yeah, bitch. Actually, I'm just going to have this thing fall down. Might as well sit on this, be ready to go. With our big iron sledgehammer out, you know what I'm saying? Oh my god, was that not perfect? There it is. Before we get on that, oh my god. Oh, you know what I didn't do? I know what I didn't do. Oh! Alright, where are we gonna be? Please, we're right at that last one. Don't make me go through all this garbage again. <laughs> alright, yeah, cool. Uh, give it like three.
Come on. What is this movement? Oh. oh, God, that was so close. Now, that was a tricky treasure to get to. But you get an incredible, incredible reward. Climber's bandana. It may look like a regular bandana, but it's actually infused with ancient technology that enhances core strength to improve your climbing abilities. Dude. Absolutely putting that on. There was a weird delay to that. Did anyone else see it? Because I did. Ah! Shit, fuck. <laughs> Sledgehammer first! Okay. Alright, where the hell are we? Right at the chest? We're getting healed, so I'm really not, like, opposed to anything... There's barrels over there that we don't need. I think we're done. We got the climber's bandana. Now, as you can um, imagine, there's a climbing set. Not just the bandana. But, I mean, any little piece helps that you have. So, very good one to get early on. Because you're going to be doing a lot of climbing in this game. <laughs> and by a lot, I mean it's like 50% of the game. So, we're kind of sucking on Korok seeds. Our time is probably at like 40 minutes. Uh, or 50. <laughs> okay. But uh, there might be some stuff to cut out. I'm not even sure. But whatever. We're still, we're still like, new-ish to the game. So it's like, of course, there's going to be... Do I get a Pona? Yeah, I get a Pona. I gotta get a Pona. Oh, wait. Hold on. There's a bomb thing. Let's go, baby. I should have whistled before I called her. It's okay. Look at that. Can you turn when I... Oh my god, girlfriend. We're gonna go this way, now we're gonna turn. You're pathetic. This horse is pathetic. It's, it's like Mario Kart all over again. Oh my god. Okay, come on. Alright, that's not what I really wanted. But it's what's gonna happen. Dude, I really, I, like, I can't. I can't with this horse. It also doesn't help that we're not really in an open area. You know? Alright, so we're gonna climb. We get to show off our bandana skills. Dueling Peaks Tower. You can see, you climb a little bit faster. I'll take off the bandana. Well, it's a little counterproductive. It's like, grab, 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 grab. Now let's put this back on. Grab, 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 grab. It's a little faster. Uh, but the real, the real way to climb these towers, guys, is just by doing this. Letting your stamina recharge. Jump on up, jump, jump, side jump. Okay, well, you don't do it like that, but... Oh, thank God we made it up there. Okay, 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 we're almost done. We're almost there. Come on, Link, breathe, 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 breathe. Bam, there we go. Alright, now we're at a new tower location. Let's get this map filled in a little bit. And we'll be good to go, my friends. Sheikah Tower activated. Can you keep up with us? Look at our arms rising. There's a little moblin fort down there. Skinning area. Hyrule maps updated. <laughs> I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try and think of like a new little thing to say every single time. Now this area is like almost three times as big as the last one, so that should tell you something. Is that Hateno or Kakariko that's blinking? I'm gonna. I'm actually gonna look at. Whoa! Whoa! Here we go, baby. This is what I was talking about. The Sheikah sensor. Searching for shrines? The sensor reacts when you're close to shrines that you have not yet visited. If you hear, or if you head in the direction where the sh uh, re reaction is strongest, you'll be able to find the shrine. It's pretty much like a Wi-Fi symbol. It's pretty much what it looks like. And that's what you'll be hearing like that. Dun, 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 dun. 
Dope, dude. That was an incredible Hyrule Maps update. Sheikah sensor now operational. Sensor indicated there has been... Wait, what? Oh, the sensor indicator is placed on the mini-map. Dope. Awesome. Incredible. Uh, let's look. Is this Hateno? No, that's got to be Kakariko. Yeah, it's Kakariko. Uh, Hateno, I think, is um up here more, actually, which is crazy. Look how big this map is, guys. Look how big this map is. It's huge. Breath of the Wild is absolutely huge. But it's amazing. You know, I love it to death. Uh, but we got some stuff here. There's definitely... I know there's a shrine on this opposite side. I know there is for a fact. That might actually get you some more climbing stuff. But we can't really worry about that now. We're going to worry about that next time because it's been far too long, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time on Breath of the Wild where we keep swinging around this giant hammer and doing stuff and fighting shrines and... Boss Faramis. <laughs> the name is so stupid.